I'm absolutely buzzing. It's a moment that I've been waiting for for a long time, so I'm glad that I could finally happen and get it sorted. I'm very delighted that Flo has committed his future uh, to Arsenal Football Club as he's another great example of, of a youngster having a pathway at Arsenal Football Club and us, um, especially now Mikel, Edu, within the first team, believing in him to have a career and to make the difference on and off the pitch for our club. So I came here at nine. Um, I remember being at Hayland, coming into the training ground um, for the first time and seeing all the older boys training. And then I was just thinking to myself, like these are the same guys that you see on TV. Yeah, from that, from that age straight away, I just had a drive and ambitions to be that guy eventually. And then as time gone on, I've just seen loads of different coaches help me in my career. Yeah, now I could just see that the work I've been putting in over the years is starting to pay off. The first big thing I'd done at the time was um, sign my scholarship. That was something that was huge for me. I remember being nervous if I would even get it, and then to obviously get it, that just brought me with so much joy. And then some, some memories that brought me joy on the pitch was I remember when we got to the finals of the Youth Cup. Even though I was injured in the first leg, it was just nice that we managed to get to the final in such a big tournament. And yeah, it was just, it was just good to see the boys in that sort of environment. Obviously, looking at other boys that have um, made the step from the academy into the first team, um, it showed me that I need to have faith as well in myself. And obviously, as time's gone on, I've put the work in, and then I'm glad that I could also make a step up myself. The boss um, played a big role in that, um, spoke to me numerous amount of times, giving me lots of advice, lots of um, confidence. And yeah, I think after a while, I just decided to um, take the leap of faith, trust him. And yeah, I'm glad I did that. Kwame Ampadu, when I first came here at 18s, he showed me tough love, um, but um, it was definitely something I needed at the time. And then even now, Steve Bolds, current coach, he's managed me really well this season, making sure that I took a more of a leadership role, um, which is something that I need to learn as well. I remember I scored my first goal, I think it was against uh, Molde. It was um, a very different experience for me because it was the first time I was on an away trip. It was just nice to see how things were done there. And then, yeah, when I, when I only got my opportunity for about five minutes or so, but it was nice that um, I was able to score my first touch. So yeah, that brought me, that brought me a lot of joy as well. Well, again, first time, scores. And with his first touch, he scores his first goal for Arsenal. I think the success stories of Emil and Bukayo shows that we have a talent pool of, of youngsters who are ready to step up in the first team. And hopefully we'll have more success stories in the game of football in general, that we, that we have different avenues of a pathway uh, for other clubs as well because we think we have a fantastic academy with brilliant coaches and people who can develop our strong young gunners into and help them into the next stage of their career. Bakayo and Emil have shown me if you just stick at something for long enough, eventually it will pay off. So yeah, I take, I take good, huge inspiration from them. I thought both of them seemed ready when they was, when they was called upon each and every time. I thought um, definitely they prepared not just physically but also mentally for the for the challenges. So yeah, I feel like that's something I've learnt from them. Every time I come over, all the lads are friendly, but um, in particular, I would say just Strikers Union, Laka, Uber, Eddie. We all talk, we all we all get along, laugh, um, and yeah, just they just continuously trying to give me little tips here and there, things to help me improve my game. So yeah, that was that was good to see. For sure, is uh, very very talented, and uh, he shows every time he, he trains with us that uh, he's a really really great talent, and uh, he's just just work a lot and a uh, humble guy as well. And I like his uh, his style, you know. I like his style. It's obviously nice to have people in huge roles in the club who have also played football um, and had a good a top career so it just shows that the advice that they're given is obviously genuine as they've they've walked a similar path so 
that's something that I really, I really enjoy having the luxury of. He has always been fantastic goal threat, assist threat, and has given uh, defenders headaches. You know, when when I imagine myself being a centre half, I would always be anxious about his speed, about his technique. Throughout my youth career, I've been played in many different positions, just trying to learn the traits of of an attacker, learning the different roles of, let's say, a winger or a striker or even a ten at times. So. Yeah, I think it's just all helped and moulded me into the player around today. I like to add to the game in all types of ways, whether that's coming to feet, running in behind, 1v1. So yeah, I, I consider myself more of an attacker. I represent here the academy, but a lot of people have, have, have worked on flow, on his game, on his personality, uh, to be in a position where he is now, ready to jump onto the next stage. But obviously, he needs to now perform on a consistent basis and show that he's got the ability to, to make a positive impact on the pitch and score a lot of goals for us. That's the ultimate goal. And my ambitions for next season are to make an impact in the first team. Um, I see it as something that I've taken upon myself to be able to go over there and make an impact and not just, not just be one of the numbers. I want to be somebody who eventually leads that group. So, so yeah, I would say I have quite driven ambitions and We'll see if I can make them happen.